Welcome to the town of Alhuf. We've got to move in here with some Marines, guys, and we've got to do it quickly. Now, I'd like to go for the police station, of course, the police compound. That's going to be our main approach, but every time I approach this mission, I get shot up pretty damn bad. The first thing I think we're going to do is just make sure that this striker is ready to fire. Actually, this is just a Bradley, not even a striker. And we're going to quick move this guy up just a little bit more, and we are going to hunt forward. I'm going to try to just make my movements a lot slower than before so essentially we'll just try to kind of get through um but without necessarily dedicating too much to any specific building uh we'll go here get to level one with that group i think that's a pretty safe bet we can go ahead with this second group uh maybe get to level one of this building and we're definitely not going to go onto the roof of any building that didn't work out for us before and i don't think it's going to work out for us now now i will approach with this team as well but as I approach over here, I'm just going to kind of turn this into a hunt maneuver. And in fact, i um, going to kind of hunt a little forward. Now, I think this team that goes to the building over here will be able to overwatch them. And hopefully, if we get into a gunfight with that building or that building, we'll be able to return fire pretty quickly. Another thing I was thinking was just to kind of assault on through over here. Um, I believe we can blow a hole in the wall and pretty much take the fight to the enemy, but... It's been a while since I've tried this, so let's do that. Yeah, that looks like that might work. Just a good old blast through the wall, and we try to make it into town. Well, wish us luck, folks. And if you want to see some more Shock Force 2 in general, hit that like button and comment down below. So here's to hoping this first move is not too rough. Here we go, guys. Definitely a bit risky to send the Bradley in, but we do have that machine gunner with his eyes open looking for targets. So far, pretty quiet. Let's get to those buildings, man. And I am starting to see some potential enemy target markers, but we're not actually seeing the enemy open fire yet, which is great. We haven't been shot at. Um, usually when we get into this village, we're immediately vaporized, so this is a great chance just to take cover in the area, get a view of the situation, and then kind of decide what we're going to do. I haven't even moved up the officers yet, because I don't really think I want to risk them just yet. Here we go. And actually, I enjoy this. We've got this armored vehicle actually also kind of protecting this hunt team, so as they push through, we're going to have that armor there uh, watching them. And sure enough, look at that. Within a few seconds, we've got some contact. It looks like potentially enemies right there. Now, I did say I wouldn't get on any roofs, but I might break my rule here um, just to get on the roof of this building and kind of hold it down for a bit, see if we can't spot any targets and take them out. So let's get on the roof there. I'm also going to... Um, I think we can keep this unit here. I was going to advance with them to that building, but let's not do anything crazy just yet. One thing I will do, however, is dismount this commander just quick move him into the building onto the first floor we'll also move up that second commander unit and it looks like the assault trick didn't work so lesson learned of course um let's just take these assaulters right here um well, let's see if they end up pushing through here next turn if not then we'll just come around in fact i think it's just safer to quick move um and let's actually keep them on this side of this wall maybe we'll advance up the right part of the village all right, folks, here we go. Let's wish those guys on the roof the best of luck, of course. And also, these officers getting out of the vehicle. Whoa, there we go. RPG fired this way. They've already got that RPG on us, but it looks like we've opened up perfect shots here by our, um, our Bradley. Not bad, boys. Keep eyes on. Now, of course, the goal is going to be that police compound, but we're not going directly there. We're going to truly take our time here. Unbelievable! I think that's a pretty good result. And hell, if we could also start firing shots off the reef, roof here onto that enemy unit, uh, or that group of enemy units, that's going to go beautifully for us. So let's just back up a little bit. You can see these are actual proper um, government troops. Looks like standard government troops. Uh, but then again, these guys have managed to pick up a lot of ex-government military gear, including uniforms. So for all we know, they do not abide by the rules of war. Got an RPG there as well. We've got to keep our eyes on that. Of course, that could completely take out the Bradley. So I am glad to have this infantry on the roof. I think I'm going to keep them here as long as the enemy doesn't approach with any armor. Uh, and let's grab that guy on the first floor and start pushing forward. Same with the guys over here. They just made it to the wall. 
Pretty nice. Oh, boy. Hold on a second. Let's back up just a bit, folks. Got another gunfight going on here. Oh, nice. Directly at the town center. It looks like we did find enemy units. Just good old-fashioned enemy infantry. Yeah, I think it was a good idea to go to this building, but now I'm thinking that we need to take one of the infantry units over here, potentially the one on the first floor, and power them over here. Just keep on firing. Really weakening the enemy as much as we can. Alright, let's see. Um, so again, I want to keep those guys on the roof. However, what I am going to do, I'm just going to move these guys to the first floor. Uh, I'll have the officer stay put. I hate to do this, but the officer is essentially going to have to be an overwatch unit. And with this unit, we're just going to move to the first building. If that one's clear, then we'll move to the second building. And we are, again, staying off the roof, with the only exception being these men over here on top of the roof uh, in third squad. Let's get going. Here we go. Actually should have moved the APC up a bit, but it's not the end of the world. Um, he'll still be able to watch any enemies in that little gap. That's it, boys. That's it. That's it. We've got the guys on the right moving up as well. And, yeah, for sure, the guys on the roof have got their work cut out for them. I think one of our men did get hit there. Not the best approach to getting to that building. We've got one guy on the roof down. We're going to need to move the APC, excuse me, the Bradley. Well, it is an APC into this area and target them from the road. Yeah, they don't like that we're pushing up at all. But it does look like the infantry did manage to make it to that building. Just barely, though. Just barely. Keep it up, boys. Keep it up. Don't let them catch their breath. And even the officers are doing an excellent job here. And just in case they send forward any sort of APC or tank, we've got plenty of anti-tank um, equipment here. Now, a few issues here. And namely, um, this particular unit, it's they're not really doing much in terms of covering this area. They're pretty much just moving up, which is okay. But if we have any chance whatsoever to save those remaining police officers, and that's assuming they haven't already been dealt with, um, I think we need to get there quickly. So I am going to take a bit of a risk in pushing the Bradley up. And as you can see, I'm going to try to keep him right here at the corner of the building um, so that he can't take too many shots from potential uh, RPGs, things like that. Also, it's great and all to have the officers here that, so that the enemy can't really uh, get any hits on us, but the fact is we don't have any sort of air support in this fight, so we really need these officers to act almost as infantry. Um, in fact, I'm going to send this first group over there. Of course, the APC will likely cover them. The other issue is that this unit uh, doesn't seem to really be doing much either, although my fear is if we move them over here, this guy's going to light us up immediately. So what I'm going to do, I hope this works, is pop smoke, right? Gonna pop smoke directly ahead of us. And then we are going to hunt move to this building. So if we take any fire whatsoever, those guys are gonna open up. They're not gonna take any chances whatsoever. I think we should probably do something kind of similar to this unit. Uh, oh, and some good news, by the way, we found out that that vehicle, number one, it was destroyed, but number two, not a tank of any kind or APC. So let's get into that building. And then what I'm gonna do is to the next building, I will actually hunt. So our men are absolutely aware of what's going on around them. They better be with these movements, and hopefully it's gonna get them out of here alive. Let's get back to the battle, boys. Light that building up. Now, another reason I wanted to send those guys up on the right side and the left side is I want to attack from multiple angles. So I really want the enemy kind of guessing here. Uh, obviously, they think the full attack is coming from here, but maybe, just maybe, we can surprise them a bit. And after we have this little gunfight here, I'm going to get these guys on the roof. Um, but I want to wait a bit. I want them to maybe send a few more units this way and maybe get themselves into a gunfight. Looks like the officer got through just fine. That's exactly how we want it. What about these boys? They're doing okay, actually. Said so much about not being on the roof, but I almost feel like if we got all these boys on the roof at once and started moving this APC up, we're going to have complete um, battlefield control, and I think we can maybe get to that police compound. So let's think about it. But I'm just excited that these guys got here without any sort of um, return fire. Let's back up a bit. Looks like uh, the old Bradley caught something. Just enemies moving to that building. All right, fair enough. I think we also have to give some consideration now um, of moving this unit up as well. After all, they're going to have to help us take this village. So let's push forward. And a little bit risky here, I know. But I'm going to push up to the roof. I'm going to push the Bradley out a little bit more. 
hunt forward, and with this unit, we are going to push to the roof, but it's going to be the roof of this building. Um, as for these guys, I think we'll just keep it real, really simple and just move to the next building and then to the next building if we can make it. Once we make it here, for sure the enemy will be waiting for us. But as for these guys... Let's just get them to the first floor here, um, and they can cover the advance of the remainder of our forces. Here we go. I love that. I love that. Glad we opened up. That machine gunner sees all. Hopefully he can cover the advance of our men without getting hit here. And actually, I probably should have put these guys on a hunt maneuver, because if the enemy starts firing, they're not necessarily going to return fire right away. Looking good, though, so far. It's looking okay. Whoa! What do we have just happened there? Let's back up. Oh, directly on our men here. Now let's back up. We definitely want to see what happened there. So absolutely moving to the next building. Our guys, I don't know why they ended up going all the way out into the street here. Definitely taking some major fire from the police compound building. And big mistake on my part, just from moving in front of the police compound. Hopefully that grenade goes to good use make sure most of them clear it at least and I'm also going to back up because we just got what looks like a penetrating hit uh, on some enemy vehicles over here so there we go sure enough you can see an enemy um, APC there an IFV I should say penetrating hit that is beautiful so despite the chaos going on on our guys on the left side these guys in the center are doing beautifully completely destroyed vehicle there let's see if we get any eyes on targets here Good work, boys. Good work. Man, I love this city fight. This is looking great. I'm even tempted to keep pushing up with our vehicle, but I think we've gotten pretty lucky here so far. Um, let's just keep on moving. In fact, I'm going to back up just a bit. I want to see what these guys are doing. And we might take them and immediately put them on the roof or simply advance. Let's take a look at the guys over here. So we lost two of them. Maybe three, because they're continuing that move. This is the only bad thing about turn base, by the way. But a, just a dramatic hit there right on the enemy. Absolutely, we're going to have to stay put. And four guys down in that unit feels terrible. So we're going to have to make up for it here. I think we're doing a good job here. Um, but can we keep it up? Now, these guys did beautifully on the roof. And that's exactly where they're going, right up to the roof. And sure enough, it looks like we got another Bradley support vehicle where do you think I want to send him? I want to go this way, I want to go this way, and I want to avenge our guys at the police compound. So as soon as he gets here, I'm going to turn around and I'm going to be hunting up this road and killing anything in my path. So far, though, I think I want to keep the infantry pretty much moving the way they are. Uh, no need to really change anything. The one thing we can change is we can move the officer up, put him in level one, and let's get back to the fighting. Can't wait to have that supporting Bradley here. We need him. Holy hell, talk about house-to-house -house fighting here. Got a number of enemy government soldiers in that building. You can actually see them in there, almost like they're about to have some tea. Little do they know they're about to have some lit, boys. You heard it here first, and sure enough, one of them is dead by the window there. So I like this position. Also, this roof, unlike the other one, actually has some very nice coverage. We're going to use this thing, man. Look at that. We've got the entire street under our control. Of course, I'm not going to be advancing immediately to that police compound. Not until I feel completely safe. And let's take a look at that. Almost looked like a Strela rocket there. Just fired by the enemy. Woohoo! And completely missed us, thankfully. Let's back up over here and see how the vehicle is doing. So one way or another, um, and it may, we may just simply not have seen it, I saw a round go this way and hit this, maybe it was a grenade, uh, but we did actually take out the truck in front of the government building. Now let's see what sort of damage our guy causes here, and let's try and get some medics out to help the boys. Here we go, man. The enemy's about to just walk right in front of us there. Good shooting. Good shooting, and sure enough, guys, that is a commander unit. Those are enemy officers, and we just took them out. So it looks like they may be falling back from the police station. Maybe they've realized this is not a worthwhile fight. It's just going to end up getting them killed. 
let's hope they've realized that because our intention now is to continue pushing forward and these guys right here on the roof other guys on the roof have done beautifully these guys not so much so let's get to level one we'll keep them on the roof over here get these guys to level one of this building in fact i think a hunt maneuver is more appropriate and we're going to do the same thing here with the bradley we're going to push forward with the hunt maneuver as for the left side i think i just want to keep the infantry here pretty much um and use the Bradley to pound away at the building and who knows maybe these soldiers will be the ones to take the police compound and save our buddies here our Afghan police buddies let's hope so here we go folks yeah, he is continuing to fire away some really nice shots from the Bradley there let's hope this gives our um, our forces even an even better chance to get into position before moving on the police compound it, boys. That's it. Get up there slow. Nice and slow. Oh boy. Nice. As you can see, our guys are are providing um, overwatch here. Pretty nice overwatch. Though I'm not so sure about that machine gun fire coming down the road here. Supposed to be on a hunt maneuver, guys. Alright. Alright. At least they just barely stopped there, and we're absolutely going to have to move forward with this fellow. Take on whatever vehicles are right there. Hopefully they don't hit, hit our um, actual infantry too much. But I know exactly what I need to do. And it's quite simple. We're not even going to touch our infantry. We're going to go boom. Hunt. In fact, we will touch our infantry just to do this. Pop smoke. Keep that unit right there. And I think I can also maybe push forward a little bit more with the Bradley here. Uh, there could potentially be an enemy vehicle right there, so I'm going to push forward and then just hunt. And as for the infantry, that unit, we're not moving. We're just going to keep him right there. Same with the infantry. I mean, when we've got this kind of covering fire, there's no reason uh, to keep on pushing. The one exception I'm thinking about next turn, not this turn, is hunting with that infantry unit. But right now, we need the Bradley to help us out. Come on, son. Oh, boy. Definitely going to be enemy vehicles here. Can he see them? I sure hope so. So right now, Bradley has got just a perfect view of the police compound. And I would expect that remaining here and just maybe hitting that area a few times is a good idea. I hope we're not hitting any hostages on the way. But the fact is... We have got to weaken that building before we try to take it. Otherwise, we are going to wind up a grease spot out here on the Afghan road. So, no contact so far. In fact, we've got our medic tending to a uh, soldier here. Although, I think he's too far gone. No, he got him up. Unbelievable. He brought that guy back from death, literally. Unbelievable work by the medic. And maybe time to move these guys immediately into this building here now that we pop smoke. All right, not too shabby. Take that unit, quick move. Stay on level one here. I'll just hunt forward a little bit more. Um, we're not going to need these guys providing cover anymore, I don't think. I think we've pretty much uh, dealt with the threat. So I'm going to go ahead, move forward here, and with this infantry unit, we will hunt to this building. So we're slowly, as you guys can see, making it to the police compound. And wouldn't you know it, it looks like a few of the enemy troops here that um, rose up in the village uh, to try and institute Sharia law have been captured. Um, they're surrendering here, so that's a beautiful sight. And I think I just want to keep on pushing. Let's keep on doing it. Quick move here. Hunt forward a little bit more. And you know, for once, I don't feel too uh, unsafe moving forward with these infantry units. So let's just quick move to that building. And, of course, getting closer and closer to the target. Here we go, guys. We need these guys in the building, and we need them in the building fast. Look at that, man. When you see how many of our men are actually converging on that police compound, I kind of feel bad for the enemy. Sure enough, as soon as they peek out of these buildings, this group has got their number. Look at that, man. First squad actually engaging um, any of the enemies over here on this road. There's certainly more of them out here. We're going to have to 
to worry about these guys. They're the prisoners. And I think it's great also since it's a leader group. Clearly, the officers in this battle know that it's over. I, I hope so, anyway. They know that we've got control here of the area. Yeah, just at the end there, um, he called in a contact on enemy infantry, so it just goes to show you how quickly things can change. Um, let's grab this, this infantry unit over here. We're going to put him on the roof. This is our infantry unit, of course. The officer, I'm going to put him on level 1. And this infantry unit, I am going to put him on level 1. So again, just getting a little bit closer um, as before. I do want to keep this infantry unit here because I think once the smoke clears, we might end up seeing some enemy stragglers. But you can see what we did to their troops when they tried to exit this vehicle. We completely annihilated them, so maybe we just keep pushing. I'm not sure. But for now, let's keep it safe and see what happens. I think this might also... I don't want to jinx myself, but so far it might be my most successful shock force uh, playthrough. And that's because I've just been a lot more cautious on this approach. But sure enough, what did I tell you guys? Our men already got into a gunfight with one of the insurgents there. Managed to kill him at the window with a grenade. And now we've got Overwatch on the police station. So pretty soon, guys, whether we want to or not, we're going to have to make a move into that building. also hate the way that this Bradley is positioned. we got to do something about that. Oh! Where's that coming from? Just directly behind the PD, I guess. So safety is key here, and I think that means um, holding these positions for quite a while until we know, for instance, that um, the enemy over here is wiped out, or at least all of the enemies kind of behind the PD or around it have been eliminated. So I'm going to hang out here for for a while and just light the enemy up. In the meantime, I'll also move these Bradleys out of here. I think we need to reverse because I think he's kind of stuck. So let's reverse and then we're just going to quick move, quick move, hunt, hunt. Not much to do with this Bradley unless he kind of approaches from a different location here. In fact, we'll take that infantry unit and we are going to quick move them into the police station. So it's going to be third squad that's responsible for getting in there while we remain in these positions with the rest of our infantry units. The thing I probably should have moved is first squad over here, but at least they're watching that building. That's got to count for something. Keep the enemy under fire. Beautiful, man. That's exactly what I want to see. Bradley lighting the building up, and we are getting into the police station, guys. I'm not seeing any of our men, though. I'm not sure if those officers survived. Um, we did what we could, though. We are at the building. Not yet under our fully under our control, but look at that. We just blew a damn hole in the wall. We blew a hole in the building here behind the PD, and we are annihilating the enemy. Absolutely vicious fighting here. We'll just keep on hunting with the Brad, leading that infantry unit right there, and I think consolidating our positions is going to be the most important thing. Uh, get on the roof here, grab these units right here, even though these guys have been beaten up from the beginning of the fight, get them on level one, and just pretty much move into the blue zone overall. The green zone overall. Am I going colorblind, guys? Here we go. At this point, we might as well take that second Bradley. That's not going to work. In fact, we'll reverse. Then we'll quick move out. Quick move out. Hopefully this will work. So pretty major push here, and we don't have as much overwatch on this one. Let's just hope things go pretty well. That's actually a civilian casualty. My goodness. Is it possible that's one of the officers? Holy crap, guys. I think the insurgents may have simply stolen their gear, taken over the village, and killed them. It's that simple. We are retaking this village, though. 
And I expect these are going to be the remnants of the enemy, and they are going to put up a hell of a fight. And sure enough, it is our units in the police station that had the first contact. Right against that guy over there. It looks like he's kind of trying to hang back, though, as much as he can and stay out of this situation. I think just as a show of force, um, well, number one, we need to get one of our units into the town center, but maybe also get an additional unit, an HQ unit, mind you, um, into the actual police compound. What I'm going to do is take this officer unit, and let's get right there to level one of town center. Uh, take the first squad, and we're going to get to the roof here. I kind of want to do the same thing with this squad, but I'm going to make an exception. I'm just going to get to the roof of this building. I'm not going to try to run over there. And that gives us just a little bit more overwatch. Hopefully enough to truly take control of the area. Also got to grab this poor officer. And his job, it's kind of a scary one, but I think he'll be just fine, is to get all the way to the first floor of the police station here so that we can fully control the town. Keep up that fire. And if not from the heavy fire coming from our own guys at the PD, I don't believe we'd be able to make it to these buildings um, untouched. Overwatch. I just love it. And hopefully once our officers are here, it's just going to let the enemy know that much more that we're in control. Oh boy! We've got an enemy IV right in front of us. Nice hit. we got to back up and see that. Hold on now. Ooh, so we actually got a hit with a grenade launcher. Second hit with a grenade launcher. And I'm amazed that actually did cause penetrative damage. Great hit there, guys. Absolutely hit him. I'm not going to let you guys miss this. Let's go right into the fight. That is a target destroyed. Told you these guys had AT weapons if they need them. And I'm not seeing anything coming out of that vehicle. Hold on a second. Look at that. Enemy's getting desperate. Actually trying to rush us over here. Unbelievable, boys. Yep, they're going to make that final push for the town center and for the police station. Yep, our guys over here are trying to light up anybody exiting. And actually, I didn't think that anyone got out, but evidently someone did. Not for long. Good work, boys. Not sure if we're going to be able to get these guys out of the country. Hopefully, um, at the end of the battle, we can give a good village search locate the men and get the hell out of here. Well, I don't think they're going to try anything at this point. I mean, two vehicles down, man. We've got the whole damn place under our control as far as I can tell. Unless we're getting some reinforcements here, um, I think all we need to do is pretty much sit pretty. Now, the one thing we can do, um, go on some hunting missions. So we'll take the Bradley and just kind of move around. In fact, I'll start looking down these roads, etc. Just try to take out any potential insurgents. Because if we're going to search this area and locate um, any fallen officers or civilians to get the hell out of here, I don't want to get ambushed um, as that's happening. So we'll push through. We should probably, if we want to be really safe, also push through with an infantry unit. So you know what? Let's hunt with this one forward to level 1 and keep this fight going. No infantry support for those vehicles is you know, asking for trouble, but I really want to try to maximize casualties, and we haven't had too many on our side, at least in comparison to a good majority of our combat mission Shock Force 2 fights. Oh, do we have some prisoners in this building? I think we might. Maybe it's just an indicator that there were enemies here. Um, or maybe we need to run up to the roof and make sure this area is clear. 
think they may have... We might have some surrendered enemies on the second floor or something. So next turn, I will move up to that second floor. But so far, no contacts. In fact, I'll stop him right there. No need for him to move any farther. And we are going to hunt to the roof. I know it seems... Um... You know, just a little too much. Uh, maybe we're, we're, we're try-harding it a bit, but frankly, I, I think this is just the safest way to go up in case there are additional enemies in this building. Um, and we just want to make absolutely sure that this area is clear and under our control. Not a single terrorist has made a peep so far. Oh, okay, let's back up there. Yeah, we were asking for trouble. I think that right there was my biggest mistake, just trying to move through with vehicles, and sure enough, one of the anti-tank guided missile teams got us. We're going to reverse with this vehicle and just get him out of here, but I don't think I want to hunt for that anti-tank missile team. I think I probably just want to try and stay safe. Both of those crew taken out, never a good thing. So let's just quick move quickly and get the hell out of here. kind of our duty, isn't it, man? I think it's kind of our duty, so you know what? Let's go hunting for that son of a bitch. Make sure that that second vehicle at least gets away. Hopefully they don't have any guys hiding in these buildings, but so far that's looking alright. It's not looking terrible. Hold position there. know for sure they're going to be in this block of houses. They're going to be somewhere in here. And I'm not sure I want to take any prisoners on this push. Keep those guys on the roof. They're going to spot us before we spot them. I can almost assure you of that. Either that or they're going to be really well hidden or potentially even farther down the road like at that building. Really conveniently placed too. Oh yeah, baby. What did I tell you guys? There we go, guys. We actually spotted them at the window. We got the damn AT gunner right there. Let's let our boys do their work. Um, at this point, I'm even thinking we should move up another infantry team. But again, I really want to make sure the town center is completely under our control. I think it is, uh, now that we've got our officers there. Yeah, let's just let these guys fight it out. I'm sure they can handle themselves. Hit him before he reloads that damn RPG. Come on, man. Gotta be one down. That's gotta be one down. He, sure, he surely stopped firing, that's for sure. It looks like our guys spotted him at the window again. So one idea is to move that second group up over here to the right um, and attack them from two locations. Definitely pinning down that AT team, by the way. But I almost feel like we, if we continue this gunfight, um, they will eventually be killed. Let's do it, though. Uh, grab these guys. And we'll actually move into this longer building, staying on level one, of course. But again, not risking any of those vehicles. There's no reason to put any more Bradleys in harm's way. Oh, boy! Little surprise here. One of our boys hit. It looks like an enemy MG potentially behind us. We may have missed that one. Sure enough, enemy team right to our off to our right. Our men immediately spotted that guy returning fire. That was pretty damn effective. Yep, guy down there. One of the guys down, and it looks like the other one may have surrendered, or maybe just got hit. But there is absolutely an enemy machine gunner right there. In fact, we got quite lucky that we only lost one of our guys. Uh, he is wounded, but he is alive. And absolutely took out some of the guys in that building. Although I don't want to rush over to that building anytime soon. Whoa, wait a minute now, boys. We, did we just have an IED go off? Okay, it was our vehicle nonetheless. That can be quite dangerous, as you can imagine. 
I'm not gonna hunt that unit. Um, however, if we go directly forward, I don't think he's gonna be able to hit us. And we get a chance at the AT gun. Probably best not to chance it. Am I right? Probably best not to chance it. As a matter of fact, I'm heading back to the town center with this group. We're gonna be out of his line of sight. Um, and we could actually work our way up from here. If we want to, of course, we can just take these guys. Quick move. And then we're going to hunt the rest of the way and go for these guys right there. Let's go for the enemy. We're going to try to take out every single one of them on this map. I didn't want them approaching this way, but it looks like they're going to insist on kind of going from the front. That's it, boys. There we go. All right, all right, here we go. Oh, looks like our guys actually started opening up there on the AT team. Just one alive, actually. Just a single one alive. Let's back up, because we just had a hell of an engagement here with the enemy. As soon as we walked into the building, guys. Look at that. So they're actually in the building across the way. One of them is dead here. One of our own guys got hit going into this building. But we know for sure they're going to be in that building right there. We may have actually shot this guy, and I didn't even realize it. There's an entire team down here. Um, but with these guys, let's play it cool. I don't want to advance if we're going to get shot at. There's that enemy rocket team. At the very least, let's advance on a hunt maneuver to this place. So here we go. In fact, this might be the first chance I get to actually use a proper assault. So let's go for it. Enemy is returning fire. Not great for an assault. Get him! Get him! Get him! Yeah, not a good idea here. We're doing so good up until this end portion. Um, five guys down on this squad. I think we just have to pull back with them and hold our, our current areas pretty much. These guys are going to go for it. There's no way to stop them. And again, that's one of the downsides of the turn-based. But I love the turn-based, I have to say. Come on. Come on. Okay. One, okay. Got one. Dude, that was freaking beautiful. I, I should make this the freaking the beginning of the video. Look at this. Our officer got him with the pistol, and the rest of those troops surrendered, man. That was a freaking Hollywood moment right there. Like, that officer caused all that ruckus, all that havoc, and our guy wanted to make sure that he got, that he taught him a lesson. <laughs> that was freaking beautiful. Well, let's hope that this fight is winding down, guys. I really would like to get some medical personnel even out to the enemy wounded. And we've got maybe an ETA of 45 minutes to 50 minutes before the rest of the Taliban force arrives and completely eliminates us. Thankfully, we've got some Blackhawks on the way. Um, we did manage to find a few officers, but not nearly enough to make up for this mission. Damn hell of a fight. And what do we know? A few more shots ringing off from that AT position. I think they still have one guy there. Our men are trying to nail him, of course. But he doesn't want to give up. He really doesn't. And I'm not exactly about to go hunt him like we did these units. Because the fact is, in this mission, we also get points for conserving our current force. And I think right now, that's exactly what we want to do, is just conserve the current force. I'm pretty sure that we have control of all the important buildings here, if I'm not mistaken. In fact, just to make absolutely sure, um, I'll go ahead and quick move over here into this building. Get on level 1. And hold these positions. In fact, it looks like this unit might be able to spot that AT team. I don't think so, though. I'm just amazed that they're actually still fighting back. Pretty amazing. Uh, we won't mess with you, dude. Like, look, we just want to get out of here with, with our current haul. We have no interest in finishing off the last remaining guy in this area. But if he insists on firing back, I almost feel like we're just gonna we're about to just rush this position and try and take him out that way. Of course, this could all just be a ruse to get us out, and then suddenly they have another um, squadron in that building. So I don't think I'm going to take the bait, folks. I think we're just going to continue to the end here. Special thanks to everybody for watching this Shock Force 2 video. And again, the new thing on the channel is very simple. If we can get, you know, anything over 500 views on a video, then we'll absolutely play that game again, and probably pretty soon. 
but I absolutely need you guys to participate as well, and that means liking and commenting on the video. Even if the comment is something as simple as, what's up, man, or H, or L, it doesn't matter. Just do whatever you want, but comment, for God's sake. Here we go, guys. I hope we do get a result here at the end. Or is it going, going to go into negatives? I've never understood that about Shock Force 2. Pretty sure we have full control over every building. Um, you know, just to be extra certain, we could try to move these guys back over here to the town center. Police compound is, of course, also totally under our control. I guess we'll just move these guys back to the police compound, get them on level two. And maybe when it gets to minus five, that will be the end of the actual fighting. And there we go, guys. Absolutely beautiful. A U.S. Army total victory. And, of course, it does look like six men were killed, nine men were wounded. Um, but that's not bad compared to my other fights, of course. Uh, Syrian army, ignore that. We're not, we're not fighting the Syrians. Ignore that. Ignore that nonsense. Didn't manage to get any of their parameters filled. And it looks like 19 men killed, 13 men wounded, 13 men missing, and two armored vehicles lost. So I think acceptable. Yeah, I'll take it. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I like to think I'm getting a little better here at Shock Force 2. And it's all just because, you know, I basically um, do my best to take my time. Just go a little slower than I was before. Hope it makes a difference. And I, more importantly, hope it shows. Catch you on the next one.